Hello everybody, hope you're doing well today. I'm Mark G with a C. I mentioned in my last video that I had acquired 32 cassette tapes for 10 British pounds. Um, so I wanted to show them to you. Um, there's a bit of all sorts in here, a bit of metal, a bit of rock, a bit of funk, a bit of indie, a uh, bit of all sorts. Um, so this video I suppose is especially for you, uh, you guys out there like Dan Powers and old Darcy as well he's got some cassettes but the cassette the cassette collector in us I do have a bit of a collection I'll, I'll probably show it off at some point when I do a room tour video um, not a massive collection replaced most of my cassettes um, years ago on CD and once I got on CD I got rid of them on cassette um, but anyway yeah 32 cassette tapes for £10 I'm not going to bang on about them for too long because I've got 32 to show you so here we go, here we go, here we go. Eris Smith, Janie's Got A Gun. I think that's a pump album, is it? Cassette single. I won't show you all the inside and all that. I'll just go through them one by one. Bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet. Uh, one of the first rock albums I ever bought. Day Aside, Legion. Now, when this guy saw one of these cassettes, he took a few pictures so I could have a look and I spotted a few of these in there and I was like, oh my god, it, you know, for this one and the next one, um, it was worth the tenner. Simple as that. And the next one after that as well, actually, is it? Yes. The next three I show, it, it's worth the admission price alone. So yeah, Deicide Legion, their second album, Roadrunner Records. Deicide, Once Upon the Cross. Great albums. Uh, the first two Deicide are my favourite, but yeah. Can't go wrong with that. Now this one. Detritus. 1990 release. Uh, under One Flag. UK. Underrated thrash. Heavy metal thrash band. Perpetual Defiance. Um, until I got this, I'd never seen this on cassette. But since I picked these up, I had a little up on eBay and there are a few out there but you know they're going for a few quid to be honest so uh, happy to pick that up. Detritus, uh, Perpetual Defiance. I have not heard this album in a long while. Next up Dio and Intermission. I'll be honest it's one album that I wasn't very um, aware of with Dio so looking at the song titles on here I'm not sure if this is a bit of a is it live or is it um, like a little compilation? I'm not sure. But anyway, you can't go wrong with a bit of Dio, can you? Okay, next up, Extreme, Porno Graffiti. Get the funk out, more than words. Classic bit of uh, rock. Next up, a band I'm not that familiar with. Fields of Nephilim and Ele Elysium, is it? Elysium. From what I can remember about this band, um, English, um, I think they were in the, in the vein of The Mission, um, Sisters of Mercy, that sort of gothic, gothic sort of punky sound, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, not that familiar with them. Fields of Nephilim, whoops. Next up, Fight, and A Small Deadly Space. Um, again, not very familiar with these. I do know Rob Halford was the vocalist, not sure if it was a little side project or it was when he left Judas Priest. <clears throat> but any of these ones I'm telling you about, guys, I've not listened to any of these. I only picked them up the other day. Some of them I don't know anything about. If any of you do know anything about them, please leave a comment and um, educate me. Next up, Helix and Wild in the Streets. Um, I know he's a Canadian. <clears throat> I knew nothing about this band until I became part of the VCMC. Um, and a lot of the Canadian guys out there uh, are big lovers of these. Um, from what I remember, they don't. I don't remember them ever coming over um, this side of the pond and, and making any any waves. Um, they were just off my radar completely. But I know a lot. They get a lot of love in the VCMC, so I'm uh, very happy to uh, add that to the collection. Hole. We all know about Hole. We all know about. Courtney, the, publici the publicity whore, um, yeah, 
I remember Hole back in the day. It wasn't a band that I was very into, to be honest. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, like I say, thirty. It was it three. Thirty-two for ten pounds. So three pound. Three pound. Thirty-two p each. Next up, another one that I made up to the collection. Metallica, Creeping Death, Jump in the Fire. This has got uh, Creeping Death, Am I Evil, Blitzkrieg on one side, and Jump in the Fire, Seeking to Destroy Phantom Lord. <coughs> a friend of mine used to have this on shaped picture disc, I remember back in the day. Uh, but I've never seen that on cassette before. So yeah, happy to add that to the collection. Okay, next up, Ned's Atomic Dustbin. English, mid-90s, indie, I don't know what you'd call it really, just, just indie, you know. Um, Kill Your Television was a song that I heard by these. It's not on this album, but um, yeah, I know Metal Mickey's a fan of Ned's Atomic Dustbin. So maybe uh, you can tell me a bit about this one, Mike, I'm not sure. Next up, New Legend. Um, German, I think these are. Don't know much about them really, but looking at that cover, they look sort of a little bit hair metal, a little bit, maybe even a little bit bluesy, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, New Legend. Next up, Quiet Riot and Condition Critical. I've obviously heard of Quiet Riot, but I'm not really, um, I've got a vinyl of theirs as well, but I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a fan of these, but um, yeah, I, I'm maybe not a fan because I've never really given that much attention, so um, picking a lot of these up, you know, it's time to have a good listen to them, innit, and see what I think. Next up, a bit of funk metal, funk, red hot chilli peppers and what hits, just the greatest hits really from the earlier releases. Higher Ground, Fight Like a Brave, um, Fire, Knock Me Down, Under the Bridge, uh, yeah. All the stuff off Mother's Milk and, and previous to that, I would have thought. Next up, Michael Schenker and the portfolio. Looks like a bit of a greatest hits album to me. Chrysalis, oh yeah, yeah. So Side One's got a lot of, from the UFO, LP, No Heavy Petting, Phenomenon, Lights Out. And on the um, Side Two, um, yeah, from the MSG album, from uh, Assault Attack, from Built to Destroy. Yeah, so yeah, a bit of a bit of a greatest hits one that. But um, I do like a bit of uh, Michael Schenker. Next up, Sepultura, Territory, uh, cassette single. Biotech is Godzilla on the big south. Comes in one of these little like see-through, uh, see-through like cardboard. Slip cases, it's a bit battered, but um, 32p. Sepultura, Chaos AD. Great, great, great album. Love this band. Beneath the Remains, well, <coughs> Schizophrenia, Beneath the Remains, Arise, Chaos AD. Um, and I think Roots was probably the last good album of that era. I've not heard any of the new stuff, but so yeah, happy to have that in the collection. Another band I'm not that familiar with. I do seem to remember them being more of a sort of American hardcore, sort of that in that vein of Biohazard and Cro-Mags, if I remember rightly. But yeah, sick of it all and um, scratch the surface. Skid Row, their debut. Uh, great, great album. Uh, 18 and Life, Youth Gone Wild, yeah, classic slab of uh, late 80s uh, rock, metal, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> now, another one I'm not familiar with, Sublime and uh, Jail Won't Pay The Bills. Got a sticker on there saying the Record Store Day. Um, 25th anniversary, first release, reissue. Um, 2015 I think is that but yeah still sealed but it looks look at that cover and the way the logo is I'm gathering it's some kind of pop punk 
that, that style anyway, don't know about that one. Next up, another one I know nothing about, Suspiria. Kind of looks a bit black metal to me, that. Uh, the album is The Great and Secret Show on Black Flames. Uh, three, four, so yeah, three tracks on the first side, five on the other, but not sure, maybe, maybe a bit gothic-y, I don't know. Please, anyone, if you know anything about it, let me know, but Suspiria. Next up, another band that I know nothing about, and this is Urfaust. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And it is Grey Ritual Yenset de Cosmos. Cosmos. Grey Ritual Yenset de Cosmos. That has got black metal written all over it. So any of you guys out there watching this who are into your black metal, please uh, let me know. Um, Urfaust. Next up. Wasp and their debut. Uh, this is an original Fame, yeah, Fame release. Uh, 1984, Wasp's debut, followed by Wasp, The Last Command. Again, Fame issue, 1985, followed by Wasp, Live in the Raw. This was my introduction to, uh, to Wasp back in the day. First time I ever heard by them. Um, loved it. Not a lot of my friends did like it. I don't know why, but um, I seem to be the only one at my group of friends. But yeah, always had a, always had a soft spot for it. 1987, live in the road. More Wasp, The Headless Children. Uh, yeah, this is another one on Fame, 1989 release. Um, classic album, Blackie Lawless on fire on this one. And finally, for the Wasp selection, the Crimson Idol, love this album, concept album. Um, this is on Parlophone and it's a 1992 release. Okay, down to the final three. Excuse me, White Zombie. Um, Les Six, Le Sexorcisto, Devil Music, Volume 1. Um, yeah, kind of what they like, white zombie, sort of industrial, groovy, dirty. Rob Zombie, um, he's a bit of a legend in the scene, isn't he? Um, I've got that on CD. Second to last, we've got a bit of Yes. Um, and Fragile and Close to the Edge. And my music's finished playing in the background. I'll show you that before I finish. Uh, yeah, bit of English prog rock. And last but not least... ZZ Top antenna again, not an old man familiar with. I've only got eliminated by them, but um, yeah, you can't beat a bit of um, Billy Gibbons. Um, and it always made me laugh when I was young because there was the two Gibbons brothers in it who had these massive beards, and the drummer who didn't have a beard and he was called Frank Beard. Always, always made me laugh. <laughs> but yeah, ZZ Top antenna. Um, the music that isn't playing anymore, but we have been listening to, um, is Hell Ripper. I recently picked this up from Bandcamp. Um, it's a one-man band, James McBain. McBain, McBain, yeah, James McBain. Um, yeah, great stuff. It's um, Let me show you the cassette, actually, since it's stopped now. Nice, professionally made. Um Coagulating Darkness, yeah, it's uh, old school, blackened, thrashy, traditional heavy metal, you know, like the early raw sort of venom and, well, you could hear it in the background, I'm sure, but uh, yeah, I recently picked that up, so I thought I'll spin the tape while I'm showing some cassettes. Right, guys, thanks for watching. That's my 32 with tape haul for £10. Pounds. Um, yeah, made up. Thanks for watching. Take care. Speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.